science is an incredible topic. Each year the world's best minds come together to help us better understand the world around us. We are entering a new age, one where innovative ideas and technology will launch us into a new frontier, one that relies heavily on these advancements. Scientists and researchers recently came forward in detail with their latest creation. Back in 2021, British company Oxitec revealed that they released 750 million genetically modified mosquitoes in Florida. At the time, scientists who were involved said that there's definitely advantages with modified mosquitoes. For example, they're said to reduce the spread of infections, and that these new mosquitoes will mate with existing wild mosquitoes, and because their genetic makeup is different, it means that their offspring won't survive and that wild populations that are considered a pest will decrease dramatically. But others who read the story also noted that these Frankenstein creatures may pose an undetectable threat to not only humans, but also Mother Nature, saying that they may develop new unknown pathogens that could be harmful to humans. On May 1st, the US Environmental Protection Agency granted an experimental use permit to Oxycon, the company behind mosquitoes to release them into the wild. While officials have said that this is fine and that they won't have an effect on people, residents close to the release area aren't sure how to feel about this, with many saying that these genetically modified mosquitoes could damage the ecosystem, and may actually create a super durable hybrid mosquito that is resilient to insect repellent. According to Oxitec's website, the company said that when first releasing these mosquitoes in Brazil, they received positive results. The company has also said that the government has signed off plans which will allow them to release these mosquitoes in Texas. Now the company has announced that it's planning on releasing another 2 billion mosquitoes, and that they plan to do this across Florida and California. This new species has been called OX5034 and the researchers have said that the idea is that these new lab-created mosquitoes have a self-limiting gene, and further noted that they're all male. The two billion mosquitoes that will be released into the world will make carrying on their genes difficult, with the researchers saying that they know it's only female mosquitoes that bite humans because they rely on blood to produce eggs. So the idea behind the release is that these modified males will produce with the wild females, the males who are genetically modified will carry a protein that will stop the female offspring before they reach a mature age. Oxitec, which is the company behind the study, has said it's reaching out to state regulators in the hopes that they can run more of these programs and release billions more of these mosquitoes into the wild. Oxitec has been vocal about this program and has said that these mosquitoes will not have an impact on the environment and that their lab-created genes will not spread throughout the area. They've said that their tech will stop genes from entering the ecosystem. Oxitec also pointed out that these genetically modified mosquitoes are safe, and that people shouldn't worry, noting that their studies have shown that they only target their own species. The company has said that the results have been promising, and that they're reaching out to officials in order to lab create more insects to release into the wild, with them saying that they hope this can be a continuous program. Not everyone was happy about this though. At the time of the first announcement, local residents around Florida Keys voiced their concerns about the release of these mosquitoes, with 237,000 people signing a change.org petition. The petition said the following. Right now, a British company named Oxitec is planning to release genetically modified mosquitoes into the fragile environment of the Florida Keys in Texas. The company wants to use Florida Keys in Texas as a testing ground for these mutant bugs. Even though the local community in the Florida Keys have spoken, we've even passed an ordinance demanding more testing. First, Oxitec is trying to use a loophole by applying to the FDA for an animal bug patent. Now the hot potato has been passed to the EPA, and Oxitec is at it again. 
This profit-driven biotech company wants to release more than 50 million genetically modified mosquitoes per week into Florida, and also Texas. These GMI mosquitoes could pose major risks to fragile environments like the Florida Keys in Texas, and may pose risks to public health and safety. Once again, Oxitec wants to treat people like human experiments, even though the EPA doesn't have enough information about the environmental, health and even indirect economic impacts of these insects, it might give Oxitec the green light. Over the past several years, we've all raised our voices to help stop what would have been the first release of millions of GMO mosquitoes into the US. Now we need to stop this non-consensual experiment again. Tell the EPA to not approve the GMO mosquitoes. We do not consent to being a human experiment and we do not want GMO mosquitoes. Over 30 local physicians have created a petition to ask for more evaluation of the risk of the GMO mosquito and the possible development of antibiotic resistant risks. These GMO mosquitoes are created with E. coli bacteria and other ingredients. This is very premature technology with very little information. A lot of questions need to be answered. The CDC notes that Oxitec trials are not set up to test for disease reduction. If the experiments go forward, there would still be enough non-GMO mosquitoes in the environment, including in people's homes and backyards to spread diseases. Even the head of the Cayman Islands, which recently rejected GMO mosquitoes, has said that GMO mosquitoes will not be a solution for fevers that pose a risk to human life. End quote. Ventusky is an app that gives you live updates on wind, rain and temperatures, also allowing users to see maps and detailed forecasts. One user just found a strange anomaly close to Montego Bay, Jamaica. The person who found it said the anomaly was just staying in one place, and that they often use the app, but hadn't seen anything like it before. They said that the satellite had detected the anomaly in early September, and that it hovered in the same region for around three days. The user posted the photographs and links to various online groups, in the hopes of getting an answer for what it was, but some of the users said they tried to view the image in the app wouldn't load, or that it had vanished. The man was able to take screenshots of the weather anomaly before it left, and noted that the shape of it didn't match anything that was coming up on the map. The photographs were eventually shared to online groups by users in the hopes of getting answers. However, it seemed that no one could explain what it was or what was causing it. One user said the following, It's been seen in the same area for a day now, and it doesn't appear to be moving. What's especially strange is that I've contacted people who live close to this region, and they've said that nothing is happening in the sky above them. This could just be an anomaly that showed up on the app, but what's odd is that these apps are usually pretty good at updating, and it's unlikely to see something like this stick around. It could just be some type of test that was carried out in the nearby area. It's not uncommon for government officials or scientists to spray chemicals in the air. This could just be what we're seeing here. I think that an experiment is the most likely answer. End quote. Scientists have openly admitted that they spray chemicals into the atmosphere, and have said they plan to do this in order to help with things like global temperatures. Solar geoengineering is just one idea that's been presented in order to help fight global warming, and although teams of researchers have said this could help cool the planet, Many have expressed their concerns about unwanted side effects. Studies are being carried out by scientists in order to work out the correct amount of chemicals that needs to be sprayed into the atmosphere, saying that the dosage has to be correct in order to tackle climate change. Scientists have said there's still teething problems, and that these need to be worked out before anything is carried out, saying that there's definitely uncertainty surrounding this intervention. They did say though that it's worth the risk, and that we could see dramatic benefits. 
Dr. Peter Irvine, who led the study, said the following. The analogy is not perfect, but solar geoengineering is a little like a drug which treats high blood pressure. An overdose would be harmful, but a well-chosen dose could reduce your risk. End quote. Others have gone down this route and said that chemicals sprayed into our atmosphere could explain these anomalies that are appearing in different locations. This isn't the only place where these types of anomalies have been detected. This happened recently over the United States. Residents were using weather apps and noticed that a large anomaly had appeared. People wanted answers for what they were seeing, with news crews eventually picking up on the story. Although no official explanation was given for the anomaly, it was reported by weather experts that the most likely explanation was that it was linked to the military, and that they'd been doing some testing in the area. Another similar event was reported when scientists at the University of Alabama in Huntsville said atmospheric conditions caused air traffic control to be suspended. Officials in the area detected a large blob on radar screens, that at first could not be explained. Officials soon came forward and said they were behind the mystery blob, noting that the blob was admitted from one of their aircrafts as part of a routine test. Arsenal officials released a statement after residents started to demand an answer for what the blob was. In a statement, officials said that routine tests were being carried out and that reflective particles designed to help aircraft avoid detection by military radar were conducted at the arsenal. They said the following. This RR-188 showed as an anomaly on local weather screens, as weather conditions caused it to linger longer than normal. End quote. Scientists at the University of Alabama in Huntsville said the atmospheric conditions caused the anomaly to be suspended in the air, rather than falling back to the earth as was intended. The military said that people were never meant to see the anomaly, and this was meant to be conducted without people knowing. The military then said that delays with these weather conditions caused the blob to then show up on radar screens. Redstone officials said these chemicals are commonly used by the military in training and testing operations, saying the following. Redstone is committed to ensuring environmental stewardship, while balancing that with our critical missions to support the warfighter. Officials said this spray will not have any environmental effects. Interestingly, although scientists have said they need to conduct more tests before these chemicals are sprayed into the sky, some have theorized that these chemicals are already being put into the atmosphere, and have said that these anomalies that have been detected by radar prove this. Not everyone has got on board with this testing though, and other scientists have warned that by doing this it could cause a reaction from Mother Nature, and in turn cause more damage than good. As of right now, scientists plan to carry on with studies into geoengineering. So what do you make of this photograph, and what do you think is causing this anomaly? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.